नमो तस् भगवतो रातो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो रातो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो रातो सम्मा संबुद्धस् So dear Dhamma friends, your right palm on your left, make it straight in one line and bring attention to your body. So in the beginning, scan head to toes yourself three times and say Suvapattva or be well and happy. Three times, may I be well and happy. And at the same time, mentally relax your body, relax your mind, and relax your breathing. Take a moment and think. We gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom. We also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge in this moment with this sitting. May my body become more comfortable. May my breath be more smooth. May no difficulties come to me. May all the success come to me. Also think for a moment, this is the last moment we're spending in this very lifetime. And detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment, observing your bodily sensation and inhalation, exhalation. So in the beginning, mentally, we're going to relax our body, followed by the breathing. So step by step. So when you inhale, exhale, remember each and every inhalation, exhalation, do it deeply gently and slowly so when you inhale inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth so in between inhalation exhalation keep a little gap so bring your attention to your right arm deeply gently slowly breathing to your right arm visualize yourself and bring that all they are to your right arm. Hold it. Breathe out. Focus your mind to left arm. Slowly, deeply, gently breathing to your left. Hold it. Slowly, deeply, gently breathe out. Your back and spine. Deeply, gently and slowly breathing. Hold it. Breathe out. Your abdominal area, deeply, slowly and gently breathing. Breathe out. Your chest, slowly, deeply, gently breathing to your chest. and release right leg deeply gently slowly breathing to your right leg and breathe out 
to your left leg. Slowly, deeply and gently breathing to your left. And breathe out. Your neck and head. Deeply, gently, slowly breathing. And breathe out. Now your whole body. Slowly, deeply, gently breathing to your whole body. Hold it. And breathe out. Breathing. Hold it. And breathe out. Again, deeply, gently, slowly breathing to your whole body. And breathe out. Okay, now take a deep breath and hold it under your belly. So two inches below your navel point. And take a deep breath and hold it as long as you can. Keep it. And slowly breathe out. Relax your body. Bring your attention in front of your nose and your upper lip area. And calm down and keep relax your inhalation, exhalation and let it happen naturally. And follow the pattern of the rising and falling of your inhalation, exhalation. Just recognize this is inhalation, this is exhalation through the sensation of it. Keep unmovable posture. Develop intentional, desirable attention. Towards inhalation, exhalation. You have only one purpose. That is recognizing inhalation, exhalation. If your mind go here and there, bring it back again and again. Bring a little bit more attention and observe the entire continuation of the inhalation, exhalation.
this is the beginning, this is the middle, this is the end of the inhalation. This is the beginning, this is the middle, this is the end of the exhalation. Just rising and falling, observe the rising and falling, beginning to end. Experience the very nature of inhalation, exhalation. Don't think over it. Don't visualize. Be very clear with your experience. You think no one inhalation, exhalation. Because that foundation, that sensation is your foundation for your spiritual, spiritual batteries. So be 100% clear with that. Some inhalation, exhalation become longer, shorter, heavy, soft, warm, cold. Different behavior, different character, different nature. Each and every inhalation, exhalation unique. So recognize that and accept it. Sometimes you feel the calmness, relax, comfort, joy, peace, but still remember to keep follow the sensation of the inhalation, exhalation. Sometimes your own thoughts can arise and disturb you. Very recent memory. And sometimes very old memory. Whatever pain or pleasure can Overtake this moment, don't react to it. And sometimes without any reason, thoughts can arise. Don't put attention. Stay with the inhalation, exhalation. The sensation is like the waves of of the ocean. The ocean is not separate from waves. The same like your sensation, not something coming from outside. It is the right itself. There is nothing going in or going out. There is nothing unchangeable, things moving or exist. Same like the ocean, the waves, when the rain falls down, how the water bubbles arise when the rain contact the ground. Same like when the sensation arise, they follow the thoughts. So sensation arises itself in that very moment. That is what you have to focus and recognize. It 
it is not coming something some from somewhere else not only the sensation the recognition also arise in that very moment in your consciousness the recognition also he was not there it also happening moment by moment that is how the subject and object the both changing according to necessary conditions the very breathing the body everything around you is everything in this universe is arising existing and disappearing itself in that very moment there is no journey life is this very moment not the past or the future just experience this moment this is your life in this very moment you are complete with that completion experience the moment be satisfied surrender to this moment give you 100% just be bring your attention to your body just take a moment and appreciate yourself you have this moment this is very rare pay your gratitude you are so blessed there are a lot of people in this very moment they missing you are so lucky you have a place to sit you have a place to sleep you have family around you you have a husband you have a wife you have children you have parents you have friends you have somebody to share something but there are a lot of people they had that everything in their life but in this very moment they had to give up that everything to be alone just themselves no one to share anything with them even themselves they don't know what happened to them where they are 
you just take a moment and appreciate yourself this moment and share your heart share this moment with the people around this world there are a lot of people go through fear anxiety depression there are a lot of people fighting with death disease illness struggling with their life feel helplessness loneliness hopelessness so have a thought may they come out of that struggle may they come out of that fear anxiety depression helplessness hopelessness loneliness may they have the strength courage and wisdom to go through the situation and find the balance harmony and tranquility state within themselves and find the liberation not only them share this moment with your loved ones your dear near ones your beloved parents husband wife children brothers sisters friends and family members your neighbors village people city state country all living beings in this world and in this universe not only that as far as through galaxies other planets stars let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest wishing yourself may all living beings be well and happy so mentally repeat after me may all living beings in this universe be well and happy may everyone be happy and safe and may their hearts be filled with joy may all living beings live in security and in peace being so a prello strong tall or short big or small visible or not visible near or far away already born or yet to be born may all of them dwell in perfect tranquility let no one do harm to anyone let no one put the life of anyone in danger let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm so expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart so visualize yourself and send it as a light forward to your back side to your left side and to your right side downward and upward to all six directions at once like the moon the sun spread the light spread the energy without any condition without any limitation without any resistance or without any judgment let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest wishing yourself may all living beings in this universe be well and happy
So, si Sadhu. Sadhu. So, dear Dhamma friends, so when we practice meditation, and you have to be very clear with the the technique, as I always mention, and uh, because this is not uh, something you have to believe. This is a very clear uh, mental mechanism that you have to understand and develop. So when you become very clear with the mind, this practice will help you to get into that, uh, the bottom of it. And, and, and otherwise, if you start to, to, to go in a different way, and sometimes with the practice, once you close your eyes, the slowly, deeply that what is happening, whatever inside your mind start to overtake your practice. So that's why there is nothing hidden in, in your mind and in your body. There is not, nothing that holding behind you. There is nothing, no any power behind you hold. So that's why you have to, it's very limited. You, you can be very clear because this is head to toes mechanism. So once you are, once you are become very clear with this and it is very easy when you practice to, to guide yourself because once you close your eyes, you have to deal with your mind. That is sometimes not easy. So anyway, that's why we have to break down to parts. Uh, for the Buddhism, there is another word called Upajjavada. That means that uh, there is a deeper spiritual, different, different uh, interpretations. But the very simple meaning is you break down things to understand. You and that way you recognize him, the 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 essence of the the Buddha's teaching. So when it come to this, that our main purpose is recognizing and understanding regarding our mind. What is, what is happening with us? What is this mind? How this is happening? So when it come to that, you have to remember that everything is thoughts. Everything is thoughts. That is the very first thing that you have to accept. There is nothing beyond the thoughts. If you are able to understand and recognize the thoughts process, and then little by little, little by little, you can get into the bottom of the, this mechanism and uh, understand it. So, but if you don't care about the thoughts and if you try to become more aware about the outcome regarding the bodily, verbally or mentally actions, 
and uh, you cannot change the pattern that it's still this keep happening inside you so the very purpose of patricing meditation getting to the bottom of our own mind awareness consciousness and recognizing how this thought arising so when it come to that there is uh, something that in day to day life that you have to remember there is no something that uh, called past or the future there is no tomorrow because always the tomorrow when you reach to tomorrow it going to become this moment there is no next moment or last moment or the past moment the always you experience only this moment but look our mind our mind always have it's like a flux a flux it's like a net net it like a, a spider web we always have that things related with the past and the future our present moment always depending from the past and the future decisions and when we trying to think think something the what is happening naturally the mind is start to bring certain things related with the past and the future that all created in mind because in this very moment there is nothing like that even the, even if you go beyond that that the last moment you went the whatever happened it's already gone it is that what you reflecting it's in your mind and even the very next moment it's in in, in your mind so if you understand that within one thought within one one second in this very moment once you come to very this moment from one second you start to recognize forward and backward once you become clear with that what is happening you start to recognize it the world itself in your mind even the the universe itself in your mind and the sansara itself in your mind it's a thought you carry so already it is there so once you recognize that it's like you drop that the the package that you carry within yourself once you drop it and if you if you become 100% if you had that completely become in this very moment 100% then there is no sansara for you and the sansara always happening when you are not clear with the present moment and always depending from the past and the future so that's why when you go deeper deeper to the bottom of your mind once you recognize that only you can experience the very this moment in that very moment once you settle down and that is there your liberation happen you transform why because any more you not going to depend from past or the future you become very clear with the moment and 100% you are there because when you ready to die in the, in that very moment if you able to stay in the present moment anywhere your mind cannot catch any more, anything uh, as a desire as a self it never look for any place why because you are in the very moment you are fully satisfied but in the when you going to die you cannot do it because we don't know how it going to happen and we don't know when it going to happen and uh, sometimes even that we have the strength and courage in this very moment to observe our mind but when we get sick and when we are in a difficult time when we are in the pain and sometimes we cannot we cannot focus like this so that's why again and again again and again when you keep practice 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 deeper you are you yourself it become a profitable skill and you become slow clear so whatever in the surface level you do as a bodily verbal or mental action deeper inside you you have that clarity 
so even just uh, whatever happened in that very moment right away your mind is start to get into that and so that's why the very safe place for you to keep your mind in the present moment and knowingly that moment also the always changing and not only that the recognizer the subject that itself that your consciousness awareness that you recognizing it is the as a present moment and that also change that is where you completely release so but there is something today i want to talk this uh, there is something when you go deeper 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 yourself to your mind there in the middle there are certain barriers and uh, one that we call the five hindrances and uh, and uh, before we go to five hindrances very simple thing that i want to mention that's emotions so when it come to emotions that if emotion is not bad in this in the first level so we have to understand what is emotion because once you recognize that that itself that you can you can handle that because emotion play a big role in our life and in uh, sometimes entire life people caught up with emotions and some people that the itself take the the emotions as life so then just take a tower little few minutes and see that what is emotion so according to the the modern psychology the emotions means thought contact with the feelings when the thought contact with the feelings it create a current that current create energy so once something become energy what is happening it is start to flow so that is the the modern psychology explain as emotions it's current it's in a flow energy in motion so the how that what is that energy arise how the energy arise with the contacts so how the contacts arise you have i ear nose tongue body and the mind itself as organs so then perceptions coming from outside and contact so in that contact when the eye contact with the colors or the pictures i consciousness arise this this, this all happening is kind of like at once the when something come to your ear sound arise that the the how the sound arise when the sound come and hit your ear the sound consciousness arise that when there's three things happening it is spark it's like a brain waves and it is just not create emotions this this is where you have to be very clear you have some past experience as thoughts because thoughts is a kind of like its words the thought has pictures and the the words so from where it came it came from your past experience whatever you accumulated whatever you repeated whatever you live used to live is already there is a you can call it as a muscle memory and you can just call it as a memory and you can call it as a good or bad karma it is there whatever you have done and how it can come to you it can come to you through your culture once you born as a baby the whatever the environment and whatever the parents behavior whatever the tradition or the culture even whatever you schooling that's mean you study so information you keep putting again and again and again and so this can happen and through your life journey so thoughts are there it's already nothing related with this moment 
this moment is a new moment so in this very new moment whatever come to your eye ear nose tongue body mind and create a consciousness so that consciousness is it's like a spark light that light get connecting with that past thought that is where the the, the emotions arise it become energy once it become energy the en the very nature of the energy it's the flow but the thing is this we have blood so the most powerful tool that we carry as human body in our body not the flesh not the the bones the blood so you know the the 75% of our body is water and the mainly carry the blood the very nature of the blood is accumulating holding grabbing that's why when you have a cut the whatever the if it is flow if it is flow so what you try to do you just try to keep it hold hold and if you are healthy what is happening naturally the blood is start to settle down itself that is the very nature that is what happening with the information also with the blood whatever has come it is start to settle down it doesn't care this is good or bad or something like that so when you are spark that as i mentioned that whatever the information come to you that as consciousness arise itself and it come mix with the thoughts and that in that very moment your blood start to carry it but blood come and blood it happening with the blood and it start to hold it and blood carry it go all over your body that's why you feel like the, the when the emotions high you you completely change so if you don't recognize this this is nothing wrong only thing is you have to divert it to good so what is good everyone knows and what is bad everyone knows but the thing is there are some people you you may heard and even you have experience there are some people say i know this is not good to do but i cannot stop there is something happening in me and i have to do this so that's the that's the power of emotions because it related with the blood when the, the spark come and catch the blood it go all over your body so then consciously what you have to do because there may be something is stronger than you think what one thing is your previous experience sometimes strong as example you went out with the prince or or whatever incident happened last month or last year or 10 years back and that was so strong and it is as a memory you hold it always remind you repeat it maybe you talk with others and you don't see you don't care about that much but you maybe you have pictures always you see it so like that so then maybe it the thoughts so the other thing is you repeat it inside you so that's mean it is in your blood it 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 in current and another thing is so now there are two things the another thing is sometimes outside situation you had a very small memory so as example you heard something in the past regarding something Uh, kind of like a uh, some food or just uh, name something like a, a bra uh, chocolate brand you heard somebody said oh this is a very good or maybe you saw a advertisement regarding ice cream but you never had that in your life just one day you saw it so now it is in your mind so it is there and then suddenly you go somewhere then the people are uh, around there and they, that everyone start to eat that ice cream then suddenly what is happening that the information the the contacts the sensation this mean whatever came to your eye and eye consciousness arise 
and that very moment spark happened and then what is happening the previous thought that whatever you had and it come to you so then the the doctor told you don't eat anything like uh, with the sugar because you have diabetes and the things that and but in that very moment when the current become high what is happening it's it's cut down all your wisdom and you just go and you go and grab it and eat it so this is what happened. this is what the emotion so it can happen good way or it can happen bad way as example the, uh, so there are some people become generous so you go somewhere and somebody invite hey, we have a dana ceremony that mean offering a dana to monks offering lunch to monks can you come you never had experience that you never been to to that kind of ceremony so you go there and you see the oh, everyone offering and the monks uh, and preaching and saying everything uh, that everybody appreciate it and uh, monk uh, chanting and preaching dhamma and saying it is uh, something good to pant while you seeing it it create a kind of like a thought oh this is good so you never did it you just watch it and then what is happening and then one day that you start to get some food or you start to have a environment to to share something with somebody and suddenly it come to your mind oh i want to give a dan uh, so that if you never heard it or if you never saw it it has no power to create your emotions that is what you have to understand if you never saw something if you never heard anything before it cannot be your emotions so emotions always need something trigger that the fire to light the fire it need something from your past so when you become emotionally high if it is that in a bad way remember don't blame to anybody it's like as example maybe somebody uh, say something you get mad angry so bad emotions there are, there is no such a thing called bad emotion no good emotion just emotion emotions but for this conversation to make it more clear in a conventional level so you say it's a bad emotion oh why you make me angry no one can make you angry if you never had something in the past if you never heard about it and when people say something it doesn't matter to you so then you have to you have to break it down then because it is a huge current in our son that take us in the it can wash us and that the 90% people in the prison because of the emotions 90% people got married because of the emotions 90% people have the children because of the emotions 90% people have the fight because of the emotions 90% people have most of the financial difficulties because of the emotions 90% people get into the habit and because of the emotions 90% people have the disease or the illness and go to hospital and take medication because of the emotions the life itself is like a package of full of emotions so when you come to clear and understand it doesn't matter how powerful this outside world you have to carry something inside you to make it more powerful or the nourish so when you develop the sati or the mindfulness or the awareness clear comprehension consciousness so you can name anything because scholars have different different arguments regarding oh you cannot name it as a consciousness you cannot name it as a mind you cannot name it as a, so like that you have to tell it sati sampanyan so but forget about it it's just the mind so when you have very clear idea whatever this outside you can try it whatever outside happening 
if you never bring anything from your past experience, previous things, there is no emotions. It's shut down. That is where ninety percent you end your samsaric journey. Ninety percent you end your this all. That is where you can easily get into the the samadhi tranquility state. And other ten percent is very easy. Why? Because when the mind drop this current, you have so much enormous power. You are more powerful than you think. You are so stronger than you think. Why? Because we spend so much energy. You spend so much your life to maintain these emotions. Look at yourself. You will see that. How, how much the energy you spend, how much money, how much time you spend for your emotions. And so then yourself remember, if you're able to cut it down, break it down, separate it, and you're going to, to develop that. When the, when the emotions convert to the intelligence, and according to the modern psychology, so the, what is happening, there are a few things that you can, you can develop. One is the self-awareness. You become more understanding. You become more understanding. And whatever outside happening, you never allow that inside things to get into that. So it's like the virus, behavior of the virus. You know, the, when the, the virus comes, it, it needs it need certain connection from inside. If that inside connection doesn't happen, it's it not going to become powerful. No? So you become self-aware and then you maintain yourself. Another thing is self-regulation. And uh, you, you maintain it, maintain it again and again and again. Another thing is the motivation. You're not going to become lethargic. And again and again, you become more powerful. And not only that empathy, you develop the empathy. And there is no jealousy, hatred, anger that uh, come around you. So that way that you, you naturally develop your self skills. So... That is how the emotions we can convert to intelligence. But the very first thing you have to remember, take the fully responsibility. That is the beginning point. Take the fully responsibility. It doesn't matter whatever happened tomorrow. Take the fully responsibility regarding your life. Don't throw, throw anything to anybody. Even yourself. Try to. So whatever the difficulties, hard time, the good times, the, the, so even you are hell, don't blame to anybody. Just take the fully responsibility. That is the beginning. You start to, to, to convert the pattern to good. So that is in another way, that is the, the way to become matured. So when you become matured, that your emotions become more and more calm and relaxed. So, so try it yourself. And in the in the in the in the history, because of the emotions, you know, people get into big big uh, situations, troubles, and people give up a lot of things, change a lot of things, and it can happen to good or it can happen to bad. There was a very famous uh, Sanskrit scholar. He's a rishi, and he 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 used to live with the wife. He was in a, a deep love with the wife. So wife one day went to see her parents and that night he couldn't leave himself alone. And then what he did in the middle of the night, it's a heavy rain and he start to go to see the wife and, and he need to cross the river and he was and that time no any uh, boat to cross the river because everyone at night uh, went home. So then he looked around here and there, then he saw a piece of wood and he took it and with the help of that and he went up to the other side of the river. And then he was so hurry to see his wife. Uh, the people who study the Sanskrit uh, literature, they know this story. So somehow he went to the 
the house and he found the house and even he don't want to knock the door and he saw the, the upstairs that uh, his wife's room and he saw there was a, there was a, the, the piece of rope so what he did he climbed using that and get into the the wife room and suddenly in the middle of the night in with this heavy rain the wife saw this husband and asked ah, how you came are you crazy to come like this then the husband told i cannot uh, stay without seeing you i miss you so much then wife asked how you came because you cannot cross the the river there is no boat this time then he told no there was a piece of wood i came with that and you can see it is uh, in the the next to the river so then she look outside the window and she saw a dead body and she told you crazy it is not a piece of wood how blind you are how you came holding a, the, the dead body he couldn't recognize and then asked why you don't you know knock the door and how you came to this upstairs no there was a piece of uh, rope and i climbed with that and then she asked there is nothing like that and then she looked and then she saw there was a snake so he holding the snake and came and then she told if you this so much energy this so much strength this so much desire if you use it to to find the enlightenment you will attain to enlightenment it his hit hit his heart and he took it and he start to look what is that enlightenment liberation and from that day and he turned back he turned back mean mentally he turned back and he from that day he dropped down that the desire the current of the emotion and then he start to divert it to look for salvation and he attained to the salvation liberation and he became a rishi so the same thing we think us look yourself from birth to death you just feeding 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 emotion that is the we take us with the sansara so i mention you i make it very clear i think there is no question between that remember there is a path fast experience you need something and then the contacts happen in with that contacts there is a consciousness arise that consciousness was not before it happened in that very moment it create a fire and that fire come together with the past experience create energy and that energy start to get into blood it take you all over your body and then you even you have eyes you don't see anything even you have ears you don't feel so what when you slow down slow down slow down and keep the gap between the reactions and slowly learn to observe you start to see this and that's why when you have the cool blood your emotions not high so when the blood is heat higher the emotions go like this and through the food through the association through the lifestyle you can cool down your blood and at the same time observing understanding and getting a good desire and converting that emotions to the the good way to the right path and you can come out of it and you can bring something good so remember there is it is nothing wrong nothing bad this is a system so you have to understand it so don't try to go against and don't try to misunderstand and don't try to go against it and do some no you cannot do it you are itself emotions you cannot go against you only thing understand it and have a good higher purpose and start to slowly slowly guide towards that and if you see anybody and having having emotions that is where now you can have the compassion regarding why 
because no you now you know it is not that person now you know it is the mechanism of this system so i hope this will help for you so with this good patris i wish upon everyone may all of you be well happy and peaceful may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you may no problems come to you may you also have the patient courage understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life during this time period may everyone stay healthy and safe and finally may all of you attain supreme bliss of nibbana sabbidyo vajjantu sabbaro ko vinasadu mate bhavatantarayo suki digayuko bhava ittavata chamme sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhi asabbe bhuta anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhi asabbe datta anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhi aitam me punya kamman asavakkaya avahanno tu sabba dukkha panunchatu bless you